Thumbs up for the glute pull through. So as always, we're gonna start off by showing you guys three common mistakes that we see in the gym. Number one is a lot of people have incorrect distance. Starting off, some people will be way too close to the machine, which isn't gonna allow you to get the proper range of motion that's needed. On top of that, a lot of people will go way too far out. And this is gonna frankly put you in a very awkward position, and you're not gonna be able to use as much weight as you could by finding the perfect distance, which is generally right in the middle, going down, getting a nice squeeze, locking out, and properly isolating those glutes to make those glute gains. So the second most important thing is posture and the setup of your feet. So to actually work your glutes, you have to open up your hips. The best way to do this is by ducking your feet. You need to find the appropriate stance for you, as you guys can see in the camera over top. You can see that my feet are ducked outwards. By having my feet outwards, my hips are open, my glutes are in a state where they can be contracted very easily, where I can pull all the way through, kind of mimicking the lockout of the deadlift to really squeeze and isolate my delt. So everything we need to do is to ensure that we're getting this squeezing and isolation. I wanna make sure the tension is on the glutes the entire time, and I don't wanna make this other crucial mistake of allowing myself to dip too low, as you guys can see I'm doing here, where I'm going too low, involving too much of my hamstrings, and removing a lot of the isolation from the glutes. If your goal is to get some hamstring work in the negative portion of this exercise, that is okay, but we're talking strict glute pull through form. You wanna make sure those glutes are being squeezed hard as heck. <laughs> I must be losing it I must be losing it I must be losing it It must be gone Where the hell did it go? Number three, and this is something I see 99% of people doing unfortunately, is that they're not fully extending through. And a lot of people get this mistake when they're newer in the deadlift as well. It's something that's very easy but very complicated to kind of master. You need to learn how to actually drive through your hips. Here you can see it looks like I'm doing the motion. My glutes are getting some contraction, but my pelvis is not being pushed through. I'm not extending and thrusting through my hips powerfully to contract the glutes. Whereas in this other clip, you can see my pelvis is coming forward and I'm using my glutes to thrust forward and really get a crazy contraction on the glutes, a strong explosive contraction. And to ensure this, you need to make sure you're using the weight you can actually handle. A lot of people use too much weight and do the first set of reps you saw and think they're getting a good contraction. It's important to use a weight where you can actually get a crazy good squeeze and really feel it. And that's how you're actually gonna grow your glutes and strengthen your pelvic kind of core area. So now that you guys have seen the common mistakes, we're gonna show you a complete run through of actually how to execute the exercise. You wanna start by having a nice rope attachment at the very bottom. You wanna take your feet and then you wanna pick it up, okay? So as weird as this sounds, I've seen a lot of people actually grabbing it like this. That's not correct. You wanna grab it like this. Walk out and make sure you're using a weight that you can handle. And then this is very important, guys. You don't wanna be pushed forward. You want to make sure you have a neutral spine and it's completely parallel, okay? And this is what it looks like. Now you want to start off, as Josh mentioned, your feet aren't pointed like this. They're ducked outwards like this. And then you want to go down, squeeze, and then push right through. You don't want to stop like this. You want to push right through because that's where you're going to get the actual glute activation on the exercise. Again, like this, all the way through all the way through. And that's how you perform a glute pull through. Hopefully this video really helped you guys out. To help us out, if you guys could subscribe down below, that would mean a ton. Now, to show you guys the top three glute exercise variations that we use, make sure to click right here. Head over to that video, try to learn a lot, write down some notes, make sure to smash that like button and start utilizing them in your workout routine. Please subscribe once again. We'll see you guys later.